Hi, I'm just me. And I'm Ragash. And depending on when you're watching this, it may or may not be Halloween. Woo! <laughs> Today we're gonna carve the jack o' lanterns. Well, one of our jack o' lanterns is going to be made out of this pumpkin because here on the wonderful continent of North America, that's what we traditionally carve. And I've been told that in the UK, they carve turnips. I'm not entirely sure this isn't just people in the UK trying to mess with us. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to carve it anyway, cause why not? Yeah. Did you look up what some of these turnip carvings look like? I did look it up a little bit. For the most part, they look like pumpkins, only smaller. Yeah. And I also looked up the best way to carve these, like hollow them out. And I was told that this was probably my best bet, which is a big ol' hammer. I've also seen a scoop used as well. Like uh, some kind of really strong metal scoop. Like that one? Like this, but thinner, thicker. Yeah. Well, I do have large spoons upstairs that I'll probably go get later because I forgot to bring them right now. But let's, I guess, get into carving these. So we've got a sharp serrated knife. And a scoop. I'm going to take the top off this turnip because I think it's really, really pretty. And I'm going to keep it as the lid. Yeah, no, you people are thinking about this. <laughs> we always get my brother to carve the turnip for Thanksgiving and for Christmas because we like having turnip with our uh, turkey. Yeah. yeah. This is not working. Okay, I also saw them just start carving from one side and then place it over the candle instead of placing the candle inside. I'm not good at this. Hmm. It almost seems to me like it's best angle. It's almost like this. You might want to do that on the floor. Yeah, maybe just a little. Oh, I'm a little scared of this. <laughs> do you want me to do that part? No, it's okay. I got it. I don't often get to carve a pumpkin in case anyone's wondering what I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I do it every year, so. Yeah. If you have any questions. I have an idea what I want to do. Carve a turnip, she said. That's great content, she said. What were you thinking, I said? <laughs> and prying force. I 
know you gave me a scoop, but it's, it seems that it would be easier for me to just reach inside. Yeah, this is definitely a concrete floor kind of deal. Err. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh -oh. oh, as I just thought, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm so good. I'm not screwing things up down here. I wish I had one of those handy pumpkin carving kits. to do finer stuff. I was actually thinking about picking one up today. I can go get a hacksaw blade if you really want. It. No, it's okay. You know what? You should probably fast forward through most of this. Yeah, or turn the camera off. I didn't really plan this out very well. I'm gonna have to wait for you to be finished. For what? Uh, so I can have the knife. I'll draw the face. I'll draw the face. I don't know what kind of face I want. I guess I'll do the traditional triangle. It is really easy to draw on a turn up. Because mm -hmm. um, it's covered in wax and the wax scrapes off when you use the pencil. Yeah. That's awesome. Are you finished with this? For now. Okay. While I'm carving this out, we should go over the rules of Halloween. We were discussing it off camera, but we really should tell you guys. Oh, yes. Rule number one. Rule number one is lit jack-o'-lantern means candy. Even if the lights are off, theoretically, having a lit jack-o'-lantern is the sign that it's okay to trick-or-treat there, rather than just having the lights off. Rule number two is no costume, no candy. This is very important. A lot of people cave. I'm not one of those people. If you're not wearing a costume, you are not getting candy. I think rule number three is time of trick-or-treater. Like, okay. Everyone knows that little babies go to bed early. So, early on in the evening, like from three to six, this is baby trick-or-treat time. Older children should not be out this time of day. You look greedy. And then obviously as the night progresses, ages get older and older and older. I say all these things like it's official or anything. These are just BS rules that I made up. That I think a lot of people would agree, especially the no costume, no candy. And I don't think there should be an age limit. I think there should be like a time limit. In some places there actually is an age limit. There is an actual law in place. Where after after a certain age, you cannot go trick or treating, and that's the age of fifteen. Oh, that's painful. Yep. I think as long I as I forget where this is. Someplace I don't want to be. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be there either. Yeah, I'm all for if you have a costume, you can have candy. One year back, before I moved out here, it was Halloween and. I had these little brats, they must have been like nine or ten show up, no costume, an attitude too, they're like, mm. Mm. is not trick or treat, do not mm. at people, don't do it, it's how you get like no candy or spat on or a toothbrush or something, don't do it. A woman showed up on Halloween, she must have been in her twenties, like, and, and I don't mean early twenties, but she was decked out in full Caravana gear. She had like a fucking tail and like a piece. 
She couldn't even get up the driveway. She got extra candy. That is effort. That deserves some candy. Yes. Yep, that's totally almost a carved turnip. But not really. I just gotta... You need smaller tools. I think the candle will fit inside mine. I have a big candle for yours. Oh, and that's just... I, I don't know if it's a rule or just a good idea. The candle should fit the jack-o'-lantern. Like this tiny little candle here. This is not going to light this whole pumpkin. I mean, it might, but not for any length of time. Okay, I'm going to pretend that that's what I meant to do. <laughs> Are you eating pumpkin? Yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. I'm rather partial to raw turnip, but I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Yay! Alright. I'm gonna say that mine is ready for the candle. Put the candle in there. I'm gonna put this back on. Mine's ready too. Big candle for the big pumpkin. You know what I don't have? A lighter? Yep. I have one on my jacket. Okay. Is your jacket down here? Yep. Awesome. It's right over there. I love when one of us plans ahead. Okay. It's never me, though. So these are our finished products. We'll just, I guess, show it off, talk about it. He's got an angry face! Look at it! Well, it's kind of smiley, but at the same time, it looks a little evil. I am 100% convinced that this is just people in the UK fucking with us. This is really hard. But he's got a really cute face, sort of. My arms hurt. Respect to anyone who has done this. And if you're not messing with me, anyone who's done this more than once. Like, wow. Wow. Respect. This has a nose. I didn't give mine a nose. Mine's a noseless wonder. Your eyes are crooked too. Yes. Let's light these up and see what they look like. Okay. Make sure they're both in frame here. One, two, three. Ooh, it looks very spooky. Yours looks so awesome. I really like yours. Mine is so derpy. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to carve a turnip again. <laughs> I like the smell of like, I don't want to say burning pumpkin, but like that jack-o'-lantern smell. Mm. Mm. This does not smell like that. This smells more like dinner. So yeah, happy Halloween! Woohoo! <laughs> Hope you get lots of candy. Yes, and no matter what you're carving or doing for Halloween, even if you don't celebrate Halloween, and be safe and have fun anyway. And yeah, don't forget to stay safe. Yes, safe is important. Mm -hmm. So that happened. <laughs> like this if you like this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos Mondays and Fridays. And share. Join us <laughs> next time when we do something else or. Uh, Eat something else or... Don't carve a turnip. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Ow! Son of a monkey spank. Oh my god, I haven't heard that for so long. <laughs>